Okay, here's Hunter Call of the Wild, and I'm showing you a nice tutorial for it. So you start off with this gun right here, and if you go in your inventory here, you uh, click the two squares button on your controller, and go to the inventory button. You'll see all your ammo and stuff. Then the sights, click this sight, the first rifle sight, put it on. And you can also see your money at the very top. And uh, it's the lures too. So you got the deer bleat collar you start with. And you got the uh, predator jackrabbit collar for predators. And the row call, which is very useful. You get them by going in the stash here. On, by an outpost. You, you should start by an outpost, so you may have to click X on the flag here to get your stuff. You have to claim it. Anyway, uh, once you get in your stash, you can see all the guns you can get later on and stuff. You get, and you need to kill stuff for rifle perk. Anyway, you can get shotguns, handguns, and bows. Now, to start off, the polymer chip bullet is very good when you, later on when you kill stuff and get money. That's what we get. But at first, uh, you need stuff like the free bullets. You know, the 243 soft point bullet. Which very much is free. So you can go ahead and get that. And also, oops, that's too loud. Also, you can get the, uh, later on, get these bullets, like, well, the bullet, the gun right now equipped, took me a little bit of stutter up there, is the 243, so the 243 takes different ammo, so I need the 243 soft point bullet, and I think that's free, so you, uh, click X, and you get the soft point bullet and ammo right here. Rifle ammo. 223. 22H. LR. Uh, here's the 243. You need the polymer tip bullets later on to kill more stuff like moose, deer, all that stuff. Well, right now you can kill deer pretty good with this. Shows the animal rating like fox and all that. Even elk, goodness. So the soft point bullet is very good. So you can start off by, uh, you know, a lot of people are confused on what to do in the game. So first you go to the storage. You can see all your calls here. All these calls are bought. Ignore that. And uh, why did that spawn in my inventory? Anyway, back to the video. Um, I got the you just should start off with the deer bleat collar, the jackrabbit collar, and the roe deer collar. You can take up from your inventory here. And make sure that uh, each level, see the skill points and perk points, make sure that you click two squares button again. Go in your inventory to skills and perks. So skills is the first one used for skill points and perks on perk points. They're all very useful to stop that shaking, like when you aim your rifle. You can see it's shaking. But anyway, click up on the D-pad to zoom in. And anyway, you probably won't need to zoom the way I learned it from my dad. He's playing good. So hold up on the D-pad, and I'll show you this. So this is what you should have here. Where's the deep deer bleat collar? Anyway, only thing you might, only thing you really need is a roe deer collar and the binoculars. You can click X on a deer and spot it, and it shows you the deer. Later on, skill points, it'll show you the trophy rating and all that. And when you kill a deer, it'll say click X to harvest. And make sure only to track something if it's bleeding, because you track something random, you're probably never going to find it. Because by the time you uh, track it by 100 tracks, it'll make another 100 tracks and keep going. Now he's tracked a moose for about, I don't know how long, but, uh, anyway, make sure that, uh, you use good bullets later on for moose and stuff. 
Like, I wouldn't recommend shooting a moose with this, because it takes like four bullets, since it's not in the trophy rating. And you can see in here, on the trophy rating, see the gun rating is two, three, four, five, and six animals. Moose is two above that. And bison, yeah, they're nine animals. If you shot a nine animal with this bullet, it would literally take like 12 bullets or more to, if that even kills it. But anyway, let's get tracking. And make sure that if you shoot a moose and it stops bleeding after a while, make sure to stop tracking it then. Because then it's useless to track it. It's never going to die if it stops bleeding. And the, uh, yeah. so you just, you see an open field like this, you can aim in and see if there's any deer by zooming in up to the D-pad, up in the D-pad. And, uh, once you zoom out and zoom back in, it'll still be zoomed in, but if you need to zoom back out any, click down the D-pad and it'll zoom back out. And an important thing is when you get, like, a warning call, if you're walking the road or walking the forest, Make sure to lie down, so click B on your controller, click B, and you'll crouch like this, and you'll make less noise. But if you hold B, it'll decrease your visibility even more, but you're laid down to the point where deer can't see you if you stay still. And uh, if you stay on, you see that eye that's barely open if, you, if you're walking, and the noise, that's the visibility of the deer, so the deer can barely see you and you're making a lot a little bit of noise where they can hear you and if you can see the white dot on the screen and the green thing well that green is the wind and if you get a warning call and see a deer up wind from you if that thing is directly up from your character and that's where the deer is they're just gonna smell you that's when you go to the stash to the shop and get some scent eliminator and that's how you uh, get the scent eliminated for deer. Anyway, uh, click B twice to get back up. You can click, you can click the bumper. Stop running. The uh, bumper. Yeah, not the trigger. Or well, the two uh, circle-ish buttons in the middle of the controller or yeah click in those buttons and you stop running click it again you start running when you run as you can see you're making a ton of noise and you're clearly visible by deer and as you can see pretend this tree is a deer deer are pretty rare to see anything pretty rare to see really unless you get a warning call and you call it in and all that oh see X to track the warning call so I got a road ear call so I'm gonna hold B and crouch down get to a point where I kinda see over me correct then you hold up on the d-pad take your road ear call out and make sure you check which animal it calls like this calls road deer this one calls a lot of predators and the deer bleat calls white tail deer and stuff make sure to click right trigger and it will uh, do the call. So make sure the call uh, sit in one spot. And keep doing the call until you see the deer come out. Then you can switch your gun and shoot it. So you keep calling. Once you call for quite a while, it'll uh, the deer will come. You just sit patiently. And if the deer don't come after like five, six minutes, you can get up and move. And uh this game's called Hunter Call of the Wild. The Hunter Call of the Wild. And uh Yeah. Make sure you know that it's not a free game unless you have a game pass. So yeah. My dad has game pass and says it's on home Xbox and all that, so I got it. So I got it, but uh, anyway, there's good passes like the Savannah uh, and all that.
And that's how you can get some deer. Well, not deer, but extra packs. Like, I got the modern rifle pack. But for the sake of the video, I unequipped it. And equipped the first rifle you automatically get for free. So this rifle, um, see, no deer yet. Anything? See, there's a deer. So you just aim in and shoot. And, and if you see some white smoke come off of it, or it goes running limping like that, you know you hit it. And when you know you hit it, you can see the tracks. See, there's white tracks here. So once you go over here and you see the track, it'll say no organs hit or non-vital organ hit or something like that, right? So you track it. So I got stuff in tracks, which shows me that it's in uh, callings. It shows me that um, it shows the health of the animal and all that. So you get it later on in skill perks. You can get the fully tra full tracking and you can read what the skill does. And that's really what the skill does. It does really good in the skill. So make sure not to follow the tracks that go in a circle. Just follow the tracks that go like this. You see it's 75 to 100 once you get the perking. Notice that. And, uh, make sure you stay on the same tracks and keep tracking the blood trail. Make sure the... So, if you see a... Really, if you're tracking a deer and you see a field like this, if you don't like tracking two things at once, I would not shoot another deer. And, yeah, that's that. Anyway, um, that's about it for the video. That's how you track deer and all that. So I pretty much covered what to do, and at night, if you see a road, and you get a warning call on the road, Dad does, what Dad does is he stays on the road, lay down, and does his road call to warning calls of deer, and he'll actually get a lot more success by doing that. So yeah, anyway, that's it for the tutorial, uh, thanks for watching, see you next time.